Welcome back guys to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at Noctowl deck. So his first attack is doing high flight. It's going to be doing uh, 20 damage times the number of item cards in each player's hands. So already it's going to be doing a lot of damage because there's a lot of item cards throughout any deck and they're really vital to pretty much every deck out there. Um, we're going to be partnering it with evolutions because sometimes you don't have the items or they don't have any items so you're not going to be doing that much damage but we're going to be running the Flareon, the Vaporeon and the Jolteon so we can get a wide range of weakness around the field. Uh, we're also going to be running two Flareons because we're partnering it up with Blacksmiths, Fire Energies and Scorched Earths so we get Scorched Earth fire energies away get some more items and then blacksmith them onto maybe a knock towel and get two knock towels set up in your first turn or second turn or third turn whichever turn it is um i find this really helps a lot especially the uh, energy or uh, draw acceleration with the scorched earth because you want to be drawing items and not using them as much and it doesn't count the cards in your hand just the items in your hand so going on with the actual deck list we're running a 4-4 line of hoot hoot knock towel but the thing i like about this hoot hoot is the opponent can't play any item cards during their next turn so it's kind of like quaking punch but with no damage and it stalls them for a turn and lets you um do more damage next turn because they're not going to be able to play their item cards and then when it comes back into your turn they're going to have a handful of items you're going to have a handful of items and you're going to be hopefully doing a knockout uh, but if it's only if you're going second uh, if you're going first you're probably going to evolve turn two and you won't really need to use proclaim the knight um we're running a two shamans uh and we're running four evs two Flareons, one Vaporeon, and one Jolteon. Uh, that's it for the Pokemon line. Pretty small, just running the two to partner up with each other. Moving on to the items, as you can see, we're going to be running a lot, just because we want to be doing that extra damage to the Pokemon that we're facing. Uh, we're going to be running one Energy Retrieval, uh, A for extra damage, and B to grab back those Fire Energies so we can Scorch Earth again. Maybe drawing into some more damage or knock towels or DCEs, whichever we need. Um, one enhanced hammer for damage again, and also uh, if they're causing so much of a problem that we need to use it, we can use it and discard their special energy. Uh, running one escape rope to get maybe the Jol uh, not the Jolteon, the Vaporeon or the Flareon out of there because they do have retreat costs that are kind of heavy two and one retreat costs and it could also get one of their pokemon that they don't want out in their active spot in their active spot uh we're going to be running four level balls because all of our pokemon except the shamans are under 90 hp and it's really good to get your pokemon out as fast as possible and plus more items the more damage you're doing uh we're going to be running one professor's letter so you can get some energies and scorched earth them maybe away whichever or attach them whichever you need uh we're gonna be running one super rod because there are six prize cards and we only have four knock towels and um so yeah that's why we're running super rod and also if we need to which we probably won't because we have energy retrieval getting back those energies into our deck uh we're gonna be running one switch in case we are paralyzed or if something happens to our Noctowl, we can't retreat it, or Vaporeon gets pulled out, or someone gets pulled out, we just want to get them out of that active spot, so that's why we're going to be running it. Uh, we're going to be running two Trainer's Mails, uh, just to get another items, and to do more damage. Um, we're going to be running four Ultra Balls, because... Um, more damage and getting shamans out is good and also getting out pokemon in general is good we're going to be running three versus seeker because 
as I always say, more damage and oh, voice crack. And also, if you want to give back your supporters, you can. But if not, it'll just sit in your hand as extra damage. Um, I'm gonna be running two blacksmiths. Um, I could be running one, but it's always best to go with consistency uh, in your deck. One could be in your discard, one could be in your prize, and you can just versus seeker and grab those five energies and put them back onto your knocked owl in case you run out of uh, DCEs in your deck, in case they all get discarded away. Uh, we're going to be running one judge, uh, just a good card in case your opponent looks for something in their turn one, like an evolution, and you don't want it in their hand, and it'll just screw up your opponent pretty bad. Sometimes they won't see it coming, sometimes they will. Um, I'll be running one Lysander just because Lysander is always, always in decks because you want to drag something out that shouldn't be on the bench and you want to be able to knock it out. Most of the times it's just going for the final knockout to end the game, but sometimes it's just to knock out the Pokemon and to slow them down. Uh, I'll be running three Professor Birch's observation uh, just to get a new hand in case uh, you don't have any items and we're only running two sycamores because I don't like discarding any of these items it's really annoying I played with the deck for a while and it was like a sycamore would show up and then you have like three items but you needed four items and you have to sycamore it away and you don't want to be discarding items at all um, Scorched Earth, it just works perfect unison with the Flareon, the Fire Energies, and the Blacksmith. Those three are just working super well together. Um, I really, really, really like it in this deck. I find it works. Um, we're going to be running Hard Charms for either um, reduced damage for us or um, extra damage. Sometimes if you're facing like a fighting deck and you let's say you throw on this jamming net and you put a hard charm there the attacks going to be reduced by 60 damage which is a lot but if it's not fighting it's still reduced by 40 which is going to be a lot um, sometimes it can really matter in a battle like that and jamming net as I said with the hard charm but instead of reducing damage it's either they're doing less or we're doing more and we're going to be running Four double colorlesses just because it's so much easier to get your Noctowl powered up. He only needs two um, colorless energies, and these DCEs work perfectly to fill in that spot. And we're going to be running four fire energies because uh, four energies work pretty well. Getting them in the discard is not a problem, and also. Um, Blacksmith, you can just use it twice, and there you go. You have a Noctowl, two Noctowls set up in two turns, and you won't have anything left over, and it'll be pretty much perfect math. So there's the deck list. I hope you guys like it. If you want, you can change it around a bit, but for now, I'm just gonna see you guys in the first battle. Okay, so here we are going into our first match. Uh, I'm going to go with tails. Yes, every other time I usually go with heads. And I've been winning them. So I was like, hey, if I'm winning them so much with heads, it's not going to be heads. And so we're going to get a mulligan, which is good and bad at the same time. And we have a hand that... I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. We have an energy of scorched earth, energy retrieval, so we can scorched earth the next turn. But we're gonna see Sharpedo come out. We're definitely gonna use the stadium, drawing into two birches. He's weak to electric. Hell yeah, that is amazing. So that means. Every item in each player's hand is going to be times four damage. Yeah, if I get the weakness out. So we have one shaman. Make sure we have both shamans in case 
because we need to use our Ultra Balls really preservingly, especially if we're discarding uh, one to three uh, items that turn. I'm going to drop down another Shaman from two more cards. Okay. I'm going to end the turn here. And I'm going to let him do his worst. Okay, so you see an Absol on the bench. And Absol is weak to fighting. And the Sharpio is yay, weak to lightning. Um, let's see who he's going to attach to. Attach Sharpedo, uh, but he doesn't know that all items in hand times four. But I'll let him soon find out. So we're gonna get rid of most of the cards in our hand because we are going to be uh, we're going to be discarding it with a more. So we're gonna drop down our Jolteon. And then we're going to trainer's mail for what is up here. Noctowl, oh, Noctowl DC, really? Uh, I'm just gonna drop that, and wow. I don't think we could have got any worse than that. One and two, yep, totally could have gotten worse. Okie dokie. I'm going to train his mail. Get an Ultra Ball. Okay. She's definitely going to hunt out my Jolteon. And I'm going to sadly discard pretty much every single thing in my hand because I have to get this double colorless and Noctowl. I'm going to level ball, level ball for two Noctowls. Ultra Ball for another Noctowl, and Sycamore. Sadly, sadly, I have to do this, though. There's pretty much no other choice to do. Yeah, there he goes. He's going to attach the energy, and he's going to hunt, probably grabbing, yeah, the Jolteon, doing 30 damage to it. And But we do have the retreat, so we don't have to worry about uh, attaching an energy if he pulled out, say, Shaman. So I'm going to grab Noctowl. And I'm going to grab another Noctowl. I'm not even sure if we're going to have any items left because one, four Ultra Balls are gone. Three of these are already being either discarded or played, which doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't bother me. And then we're just gonna stick more. Hoping, hoping to get. Wow, I think we got a couple of DCEs. So I'm gonna retreat. And hopefully, he has some trainer cards in his hand. So we see one. Okay, what do you do? Okay, Dragon Pokemon. Okay, so we see one, two, three. That is. 120 damage crazy amount just for having a level ball and an enhanced hammer in my hand okay escape rope uh, probably gonna hunt something out yeah so I'm just gonna throw out this guy and oh no never mind he's gonna dark fang discard a random card from my hand Adds, oh, enhanced hammer, goodbye. Okay, so we need to get some more trainer cards. Okay, so we got Judge. I'm gonna attach a double colorless. And I saw his hand, so I'm just gonna judge, keeping the hard charm and level ball in my deck. And wow, I didn't think we can get such a terrible hand. 
I'm gonna high fight for three darkness energies. Oh wow, this is not a game. So he's gonna be trying to do dark edge. Okay. Heads. Oh my god, my birch is gone too. So every turn he's gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing no damage. Wow, more darkness energies, 20 damage. Damn, why did he have to take my birch? Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I think we can make it out of this. Well, voice rack. I think we can make it out. Just kidding. Because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that's totally cool. Keeps my Noctowls alive. We have 12 item cards in this card pile. Oh, look at that. We're going to be doing no damage. Yep. Actually, we're going to be doing 50 damage. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So it's only defending Pokemon. So he's going to be knocking out my Pokemon one-shotting them anyway, so no reduced damage. Wait, did we drop our energy retrieval? No, I don't think we did, no. No, we didn't. Uh, okay. So he's going to be charging up his Dark Rai. So next turn, hopefully, if we get energy retrieval, we can attach energy and speed drive and knock out. Okay, so he's gonna go into Sharpedo. He's gonna hunt, probably out of Shaman. Maybe this guy? Heart Charm, 10 damage. <laughs> Definitely gonna be a Shaman. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Professor Birch. Because you discarded it last time, buddy. Thanks. And tails. Wow. I did not think that we can get any luckier. It's not that bad of a hand. So we're gonna scorched earth. Two more. Oh my god. And we're going to retreat into this one because his attack is doing 100 damage, minus 20. I'm going to high flight for 1, 2, 3, 4, 80 damage, which is a knockout. Two more trainer cards. One more trainer card. Okay, so it's, this is pretty much... They do less 20, or do you do more 20? And in this case, I'm just gonna... I don't wanna say this, but I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna keep it in my hand so I'm doing 20 more damage. Because right now his Dark Edge is not knocking me out. It's totally cool. And 20 less damage, which is totally cool with me. It's got a Weavile. Not a good one. And we're going to be doing knockout for 100 damage. Item, item. Oh my. Will we be able to one shot this Dark Rye? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 160. All we need is one more or one in his hand. He has 50 HP left. He's gonna do 30 onto this guy. So he's two hits left on it. And I'm gonna send out this Noctowl. One more trainer, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is going to be a high flight knockout. Oh, 10. For 200 damage without weakness. There we go. 
showing it off. At the end, we pulled it together. Made a nice comeback. So that's going to be battle number one. I'll see you guys pretty much right after this in battle number two. Okay, here we are going into battle number two. I'm going to lose a coin flip, seeing if my opponent decides to go first or second. Definitely going to go first. Wise choice, my friend. Or maybe not. No, definitely is. Uh, we start out with Noctowl, wish it was Hoot Hoot. And we could use Proclaim the Night. Three double color lists. Wow, my luck. And we started with two Eevees, Ultra Ball, Lysander, Blacksmith, and an Energy. Okay. Thinking of what we can do here, probably gonna Ultra Ball, Lysander, Blacksmith to get the Shaman. Attach, mm, no, I'm not going to attach Fire Energy. I'm going to place down the Eevee right now. And depends if he has or what his active Pokemon is, what he's running, what's going on. So you're gonna see some Boonguses. I know exact I don't think I know exactly what this is. But I have a good idea of what this could be. Uh, okay, so he's gonna have an N, which is good. I'm guessing it's going to be the Spore Prize, which is Confused and I think Poisoned. Uh, it's the same thing as Wafting Scent, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we can look at it right here. Okay, yes, Confused and Poisoned. I just barely saw it at the bottom. And the Nine Tails. Okay, so he's going to do that. The Nine Tails that he's using is 50 damage plus each effect on the defending Pokemon. So he's going to end us down, or up to six we can pretty much let that Eevee die <laughs> um, or not uh, drop a Verbank City gym uh, only we had the switch here or instead of level ball ultra ball it's gonna take 30 damage it's not gonna wake up I, I it's totally fine with me we're gonna drop down some hoot hoots, and we're gonna grab. The, the, I'm gonna say Vaporeon. No, oh dang, I meant to undo. It. Oh, actually, nah, I don't know if that was a good choice or not. But I'm wondering. I'm gonna send out this Hoot Hoot, because I know he's probably gonna die. Uh, he level balled for the Amoongus, but didn't even play the Amoongus. So waste of a level ball. So he's less damage for us. And, okay, hit the Toxic Laser, this thing is probably definitely gonna go down. But if I get a double colorless, I'm definitely gonna attack with it. Just because I wanna preserve the Hoot Hoots. I don't have much in hand. I want to be doing damage quickly. Ooh, look at him. Sycamore. Ultra Ball. Devolution Spray. Yeah. Pretty normal stuff. So you're going to switch into the Vulpix. So you have the Evolution. Please let him. I actually need him to knock me out here. So I'm burned. Um, I have safety. Wow. Sit there like a duck. Duck that just evolved into Noctowl. Yeah. Wait, what is. Alvogon. Okay, Alvogon. I hate when they do that. They make the same evolution line. Like the same animal. Or animal. Yes, you say. Uh, double colorless for days. Plus an enhanced hammer, so we're at least doing 40 damage. 
and I'm guessing he's gonna have some sort of trainer in his hand. Two trainers in his hand. Knock out four. Oh, I did not see it. Stupid knock towel. He had two in his hand. Two, three, six, one twenty. Yeah, so there's three trainers times four because weakness and times 20 per item. So usually it would be times two, so it used to be 60, but times two for weakness is 120. It's a crazy amount of damage just for having an enhanced hammer in my hand. It's going to evolve into Vulpix, or Nine Tails, sorry. Um, oh yes, bright look. I do have a double colorless, but he's going to end it away from me. Darn you. Pen Carino. Darn you. But I do get it anyways. So I'm probably just going to... Depends what happens. You can just... Okay, he's going to Hex Flame for 20 damage. So for an EX, he needs... 3. Three abilities, or three uh, things on three effects. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, so we're gonna knock him out anyways. 120 damage just for the cards that are in my hand. I think I should have. No, no, I it was the right play to to keep that level ball. I was thinking of playing it. That Scorched Earth was in my hand. I'm, I'm really disappointed in myself. So I could have got rid of Verbang City Gym. So you can attach a double colorless onto his Fungus. And Sycamore. Getting rid of Colorus. Don't know what he needs to double colorless for. And for some reason, the past two games I've been playing. We're in expanded format. Didn't realize. Well, I did realize the first game, but then forgot and then remembered again because Forever Bank City Gym. But I don't think it makes that much of a difference, except for Devolution Spray. But, and ends, now that I think of it. But, doesn't really showcase the deck as a standard deck, but it's showing what the deck does, not what its opponents are. Because your opponent can be anything. And I'm just going to show how I would play the deck, or how I think it's supposed to be played. And my opponent's probably like, ha, yeah, bright look. I'm going to pull you out. And you're going to die. Yes, sir, I'm going to die. Hex Flame for 120 damage. Tisk tisk. What a shame. I have fallen. I don't know why you attached double colors onto this one and then evolve that. And this guy is a bizarre person. Do we have a supporter in here? We have a judge. Okay, so I'm gonna level ball. Or hoot hoot. Hopefully soon I'm going to get another one. And then I'm going to go for Judge. Getting these nasty blacksmiths out of my hand. A waste of a supporter at this moment. And two of them also. I'm not making things more fun. Okay, so we have a double colorless in here, but we don't have a hoot hoot. Or a knock towel in the discard. So I'm going to discard both of these. Grab myself a shaman. And... I did I attach this turn? I did not. So I'm going to grab a complete hand of six while bringing his hand down to only four. Okay, so we're going to be doing a lot of damage here. Four. Banking on him. Having two. Yes. Knocking it out. He does not have a nine tails in his hand. And also, but he does have an Amoongus. So... Oh, well, we do have the escape rope. Which, uh... Well, we are doing 100 damage. He could singe me. 
Oh, true. He has two level balls, so he's going to be able to pull out a Pokemon of his choice and knock it out if he wants to. He can pull out the Shaman. He's going to level ball again, getting another um, Vulpix. But I see three in here. Oh, oh, dang. And we have one, two, three, four. We're doing 100 damage. We're knocking it out. It poisons me and confuses me and hex flames me for the knockout. I do like a 180 spin from confused position and get tossed into the discard pile. But we're going to come back out and uh, the weakened one. And I don't want to use my hand at all. Keeping the damage up. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. We're going to be doing six, seven, eight, 160 damage without evolutions in the field. If we did have that other one, we would have been doing 400. We would have been doing 420 damage. Yeah, with all this weird effects going on, we would have done a perfect 420. <laughs> Um, okay, so I guess he'll be able to attack and do Rising Lunge for 50 damage. He's going to Hypnotoxic Laser me. And I'm going to go to sleep, sadly. Um, he's going to level ball for something, I don't know, Nine Tails with no Vulpix left in his deck. Because I think, yep, yeah, I knocked them all out. But I'm going to wake up gonna be able to rising lunge me for the knockout but no sir you are not knocking me out I'm doing a hundred damage so I'm knocking out whatever he puts on the field so I'm gonna go into this knockdown lose the poison throw down an Eevee and 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 yeah I was gonna high flight for whopping knockout he has an Amoongus nine tails double colorless hand and next turn if he doesn't see the match which he probably will because he thinks that he's done I have the Flareon in hand so I'm going to be able to do 400 damage 400 damage and if he has the item card in hand tons tons more damage I don't know how many he has I didn't think he had any in his hand but he's going to colorless if all three of those are item cards, we're going to be doing, I think, 520 damage. If all three, all four of them are item cards, we're going to be doing, I think, oh no, I think we're going to be doing 400 something damage. So we're just going to knock them out here, following into Flareon. Doing a crazy no, no, he can see to the match right before we can knock him out. Oh, okay, we would have one, two, three, four, five, five hundred, four hundred damage at least. That was pretty cool, if I must say so myself. So, hope you guys enjoyed this deck. Um, it was pretty fun to build, fun to play with. Uh, different variants of it. If you guys want to play around with it, you guys can. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.